Okay, I flew around for an embarrassing amount of time until I found what I think is actually my destination. You see, in the original game, although the world map was always flat and kind of, um... Well, not kind of flat, it was in fact completely flat. But the world was, like, mountains looked a certain way, grass looked a certain way, and it was easy to see the distinction between mountain and land and buildings and all that kind of stuff. Something which doesn't translate quite so easily, which is probably why they made a little bit of effort to, like, heighten the geometry in different areas. But there was always this little building at this point in the game that you have to go and find, sticking out of the mountains, and then you go look for a town, and then you know where to go, because it's just a big mass of mountains, and you couldn't really find your way through. Well, I couldn't find my damn way around. I believe... Here it is. <laughs> So let's go down here. Hello, people. Hmm. Welcome. What <sighs> okay, I'm going to assume that this stuff is better than the garbage I have. Okay, head, arm, and body. I don't have enough money. That sucks. <laughs> Come again. Hold on, I'm gonna do the armor uh, shuffle. As I suspected, I did not, in fact, have enough money to upgrade all of my armor. In fact, only only girl has the um, the latest like uh, body armor. Oh shit! Somebody's not wearing any. Uh, somebody's not wearing any gear. <laughs> that would have sucked. Maybe that's the reason why he was getting his ass kicked so easily in the last couple of episodes. Because he wasn't wearing any armor. Oh, that sucks. We have a whole other town here. But, of course, like in most cases, the town itself doesn't matter a damn bit. What we're actually doing... Oh, there's a mana palace up here, I think. But that's not really what we're here for, is it? <laughs> what? This is terrible! The mana beast has just decimated the fortress! It's crumbling into the ocean! Ladies and gentlemen, the beast is it's heading this way! It's, it's coming straight for us! For Kama's hurry! Well, this one's broken. God. At dawn, Lorem launched missiles at the Empire, which had threatened to take Lorem's capital, Wendell, by nightfall. Final answer? Hooray! That makes you our new... Mana is a limited resource. We must <laughs> not utter nonsense. Nonsense? If you think protecting the world from self-destruction is nonsense, then on your head be it. Mark my w You can't end this here. Give me the mic. It exploded. Did it? Because it didn't look like it. Of course, these crystals were in the original game. I don't remember if that's exactly what they were saying, but it does kind of open up a kind of an interesting thing to think about that the previous civilizations of the world before the mana fortress was built and then the mana beast destroyed it or uh, it's supposed to be the hero of uh with the mana sword was supposed to have destroyed it but you know whatever one night is one that the oh my god that the world had more technological advancement you know watch out for mushrooms their spores clog the air and make it hard to breathe too true. I've had lots of run-ins with mushrooms. Makes me wonder why the Matango branch of the family smells so sweet. This whole country is fragrant. Yeah, the smell? Kinda makes me hungry. Weird, but I think I get where you're coming from. Oh, 
you guys too? You agree? It smells like savory mushrooms getting roasted on hot coals. Now I can't stop thinking about it. Same here. Hey, do you think the Matango people would... Stop. Don't go there. We're getting into dangerous territory as it is. Y yeah Just enjoy the fragrance while it lasts. Man, how many times did they expect us to sleep at these inns? Because, I mean, they seem to be going at a sort of linear progression through the story. Every time you stop in an inn, they speak briefly about what was going on in the story at the time. Or just sort of like general banter about general banter about their situation or their lives or anything like that. But geez, we are so far in the past. Still talking about Matango. Matango was episodes ago. I mean, sure, we went to Matango to drop off uh, the Mushroom King after we did all that crap, but, you know, you, you weren't staying there for long, and I get the feeling that that's not what they're talking about. Die. Die, damn it. Haha. <laughs> Sprite's bow leveled up. I wonder what level do I have this at? Five. Ah, oh, that missing bullshit. Ah. That's not going to matter too much. Die, all of you, damn it. There was a little trick you could do in the original game. Let's see if it works here. Nope. <laughs> That's something to do with, um... Starting the charge and then opening the menu, then closing it real quick. And you could sort of, uh, when you closed the menu, it went and it loaded your character up as the charge being complete. So you could just sort of spam powerful attacks. It's not something I really did. It was something I seen speedrunners doing a lot. So I'm like, you know, maybe I'll give that a try. Let's see what level you're at with this. Don't mean to do any grinding. Okay, yeah, that's a level low. This isn't where I was trying to go, so let's get out of here. I mean, we will end up here eventually. I suppose I do need to get a few more kills under my belt in order to get the, uh, get the weapons and all that kind of shit that I need. Not the weapons, but the armor. Hello. Ah, oh, yeah, fantastic. But I don't want to stand here and just kill all these monsters while I'm trying to record an episode. Although the characters seem like they need to level up, too. Wonder if that has anything to do with, like, the, the rate in which I'm missing a lot. Oh, yeah, thanks for all those medical herbs. The, um... I'm seeing a lot of misses. I'm registering a lot of misses. Now, it was always sort of a thing that you had to worry about a little bit in the... Ah, oh, damn, Sprite got engulfed. Get out of it, you little bastard. I guess I gotta throw one of those multitude of medical herbs I have at him, and it would... It would cure it, but, um... Yeah, whatever. He's fine. She's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Ah, oh, these damn things. This was an area that I always had a problem with in the original game. It wasn't really designed all that well, in my opinion. Now, it's not a large area. All it really is is just a lot of... sort of busy work in order to get you from one end to the other. Because, sort of like Gaia's Navel, it's an area of the game that you're going to have to take the path of several times throughout your playthrough.
Oh, it doesn't attack the enemy in this version. Because we're going here now, but this certainly won't be the only time that we find our way up this mountain. And the whole zipping back and forth, zipping back and forth, zipping back and forth is kind of a, just a pain in the ass. I guarantee I won't be killing every enemy every time I run up here. I just sort of need the money. Which is why I wasn't too bummed out when I didn't try grinding through all the, um, the enemies outside the village in order to get the cash I needed. Because I know I'm going to be going up here, I'm just going to talk to somebody and I'm going to move on. Oh. Oh, don't. Oh. Bye. That's what I'm after. You sell the same shit as everybody else, only you charge more for it. Now this whip section is what I really don't like. Because you gotta sit there and you either gotta have a character equipped with the whip the entire time, or you gotta switch over to it in order to advance up the next section. And honestly, the whip's not that great of a weapon. You miss a lot, it's hard to use, even though it is ranged. So I'm a little against having it on a character all the time. Boy's almost dead. of darkness via that cave you passed on the way here. Ugh. So we gotta get our asses all the way back down there. Of course, this uh, just running down there is not the efficient way of doing it. So we gotta go and... I'm gonta go and... Oh, this thing's almost dead, so I might as well kill it. The quickest way, of course, is to just, uh... do this, go back up, and then land back down there. I'm gonna land back in the town. Then go and stay at the inn. Just to make, just get everybody's life back up. One night is one... That was the first time I'd seen a dragon, even a baby one. Me too. Did you get a look at his wings? They're so white. He's got to be the prettiest dragon in the world. Such cute eyes. He's the best. <sighs> What's wrong? You guys haven't stopped gushing since we found that scrawny beast. So? You didn't gush at all when you found me in the dwarf village. I'm pretty one of a kind too, wouldn't you say? Well, yeah. We did find you in a shoddy sideshow. Oh. And then you tried to cheat us out of our money. Oh. The cute little dragon would never do something like that. Be that way. Huh. Okay, I'm back at the Palace of Darkness. And I've also upgraded... Weapon skill. Powerful, huh? Killed two of those with one hit. One of them missed, of course. So that's a bit of a pain in the ass. And I want this treasure chest. medical herb, of course. I have upgraded the um, the armor for boy, but uh, still didn't have enough for sprite. So that's still a bit of a pain in the ass. Might as well get that. Uh... Oh, wait, no. Bow is... Uh... Better damage, at least. Oh, jeez, that sucks. 
What are you doing in here? So is this not a person? Is this some kind of a monster? Heh. <laughs> Dark ninja. Are these the same enemies that we saw inside the castle? Oh, did I go into the wrong room? Alright, time to use one of those medical herbs. Jeez, these things take a little bit too much of a beating, I think. You don't want to have people get stuck wailing on your enemies too much. Oh. Missed. Come on now. Fine. Whatever. Moving on. Uh, is this the room where I gotta kill both of them? And then- oh, they're summoning bats! That sucks. <laughs> the treasure chest has legs. It's not a mimic. Although, they're, apparently they exist in this version of the game. I don't remember mimics being in the original game. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. And she's pigmatized, so... Fortunately, I picked this up in the previous episode, so I can just undo that status effect. Hey, look! The slagmites grew back. <laughs> oh, an imp. <laughs> I just killed Tyrion. Oh, alright. Good thing I kept the whip out then. Oh, I didn't keep the whip out. Damn it. <laughs> Come on, get over there. I don't whip against that. <laughs> I don't whip these. I don't whip my way across. That sucks. What am I supposed to do there? How do I not remember? What's wrong with me? What weapon confuses? Oh, that opened the door in the in the main hall there. Alright, so I gotta trek all the way back. Resist the urge to stand and kill. Resist the urge to stand and kill. You can grind off camera. I said resist the urge. Don't do it while saying you're not going to. There's something wrong with me. It's dead now. Idiot. <laughs> Gloves. Oh, I was thinking that might have been a um, way across. Unconscious. 
Oh, it was unconscious and waiting to die. That's funny. Ah, I'm a bit of a loss now. Jeez, tell me you don't remember how? Come on. Stop respawning and I'll stop having to kill you. Oh, so I went and checked and yeah, I was right. This is a friggin', uh... Supposed to whip across. For some reason I can't manage it though. Even from the other room, because I was in the other room earlier, wasn't I? No way. Uh. Ha! It missed. <laughs> What the hell am I doing in here again? Hey, there's two of them in there. Just a whip across. Come on now. What's going on here? All right, I may have done something really stupid. <laughs> I may have been in the room that I needed to take and then for some reason not noticed it. Yep, I was in the <laughs> There we are. Hey, look, they finally reintroduced the stupid um Walking through the doorway thing doesn't lead to a loading screen thing that the original game had in, like, a lot of their dungeons. It's weird that they, they're capable of doing it here, but they didn't do it in the rest of the game. Ugh, damn fierce head. I'm only gonna kill you because you're almost dead anyway. Oh shit, don't do that. <laughs> you take those hits. You take those hits. Come with me, people. Here we go again. Oh, oh they all rejoined me. <laughs> Nada. Not a treasure chest. Not a. Oh, freaking imp spawn, though. What? <laughs> Four misses, or three misses. Alright, so this is where I get, get across from. What? Friggin' mimic. The, drip, the treasure chest monster should give me a treasure chest when it dies. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm asking for. Don't lie to me. The fact that this spawns other monsters is kind of a pain in the ass, but at least it's not like the blobs where the spawned monsters will spawn other monsters. That's just outright infuriating. There we go. Now we gotta go all the way around. Come on. Whip crossed. Friggin 
taking those hits a pain in the ass. Is there anything over here? I think wall just protects you from magic damage. Which I'm unlikely to use against an enemy like this anyway, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense that it goes and casts wall on itself. I mean, a boss... For the most part, bosses are the only, only enemies that I use magic against. Flee, damn you. Well, better. Just get a cure up. Damn you. <laughs> Who did more damage there? <laughs> oh shit, look at all these. Get back here. Hey, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Now he's down. <laughs> Moving on. I shade will test you. Oh, jeez. Okay, I forgot this is the room the boss was going to be in. Alright, so... Gotta bring Randy back. Now, the bigger this, uh, the later in the fight you get, the more damage you do and all that, the more, uh, the larger this monster gets. So, that's a good way of determining how close you are to the end of it, is just by paying attention to how big, how big slime is. Keep its defense down, just hit it. Don't spam it with magic if you don't have to. <laughs> Although there isn't a whole lot of strategy involved in this boss that you couldn't really do in any of the other ones, so there's no unique strategy. Just kind of an unusual thing. In the original game, it was probably just a large background layer that you were... that you were fighting. I wonder what its weakness is. Yeah, I don't even know what its weakness is. I mean, being a dark magic item enemy, you'd think that light magic would be the thing. But we don't pick up light magic until later on in the game, so there really wouldn't be any point to that. Maybe fire magic. Oh no, it's getting smaller, not larger. Of course, um, in, in, um, in the SNES game, you would use some sort of sprite scaling in order to... or something like that in order to... Um, where's, uh, where's sprite? Oh. 
use some kind of a sprite scaling method in order to um, increase or decrease the size of the monster. Or, um, or like, it would be like mode 7 that you would use to increase or decrease the size. But in this, it's polygonal geometry with a shader applied over it or an alpha texture applied over it in order to make it translucent. You could just make it smaller. And it's down. Yay, Javelin Orb, like we really wanted that. I am Shade, spirit of darkness and elemental of mana. Long ago, I was known as King of Mavolia, the underworld. But I was sealed here. You have lifted said seal. Take my powers as your reward. Okay, I got shade. Seal that mana seed. Alright. Synchronized, not sealed. <laughs> Alright, so we got a new magic power. Shade. Actually, they don't both have it. Just Sprite has it. And we'll head back and see if... Because Sage Josh wasn't here. Because he's an asshole. So we're just going to have to go back and see him again. But that's next episode.